You ever talk to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? Why? You don't think you're gonna end up on a milk carton, do you? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins, and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. You really didn't like that guy, did you? I don't know. I honestly, I just had a hard time talking to him. I mean, there are lookouts who seriously won't shut up, who call me about every little thing that pops into their head. And then there are those who just want to be left alone. He was the latter. Hey, Dee, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Hmm. Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Us. They're researching us. You... you think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do? Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that! Agreed! I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? I'm gonna do a scan for supplies and then figure out a way to get back over that ravine and hike towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Are you there? 
I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <coughs> Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Well, what about when I heard you talking to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave, and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. The Flapjack Fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Uh, you can do me for a trip out of here. I don't care if it's on horseback or a helicopter or in a canoe. Just get me out of here. Henry, we have work left to do. Let's chat about what's bothering you and you'll feel better. Are you serious? Let's talk. Okay? Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me, just, um, internalize it. It's, it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there.
Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. What the fuck is going on? People are listening to us? I don't know. Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? Our radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? I know that I'm scared. None of it makes any sense. Who is doing this? I don't know who could be doing this. <sighs> Henry, I've been at this job off and on for 13 years. Sometimes here, sometimes over near Jackson, a couple times down in Wind River. And nothing like this has ever happened before. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? Ugh. This is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and... Every one of them got confused, asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no, this isn't happening to anyone else and I'm done asking.